Welcome back to Picture Grax, day three. Today we are hiking from uh, seven mile to the coves. It's like another seven and a half miles or so, something like that. Um, Matt is still asleep. <laughs> I think the rest of the campground is still sleeping too. I think I'm gonna get up and start motivating. And um, we'll see you guys at breakfast. Breakfast. Should be plenty. Plenty. Just about all packed up. Time for breakfast. We just gotta take down the tent and the bug net and the permit. Everything else is pretty well ready to go. Just gotta throw it in the packs and be on our way. It's before 8 o'clock. I think it's like 7.40 or something. So we're up a little bit early. Today, which would be nice, we can maybe beat the heat. Trying to get back to our Isle Royal time. Yeah. <laughs> We're finding earlier is a little bit better here because of the warm weather and the humidity. Right now it's pretty cool out, which is nice. Alright, we are leaving our site. Um, site number three was an excellent little site here with a beautiful view of the creek. Nice tuck back in the woods here. One little flat spot for the triplex, so great site. We're happy to have it. But headed on out now. We're headed to what? The coves today? Coves. We'll see you guys later, huh? Hey, Ashley, I got something to tell you. Guess what, what I did this morning? What did you do this morning? I fulfilled my lifelong ambition. I crapped in the woods. Oh, she pooped in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm dead serious. You taught me everything I needed to know. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm so proud of you. I'm really proud of my dad. So you should be. Thank you. And Matt, who's behind the camera, thank you, because you were the actor in the video that taught me how to do it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you missed it, check out the How to Poop in the, woods, poop video. In the woods video. I'll link it up here, so just check it out. <laughs> Shameless self-promotion. <laughs> That's right. Uh, These guys are proud of you, Joe. <laughs> Pretty windy today, so no bugs. It's very cool out. It's really nice hiking weather, so we're pretty pumped about that. And we have Lake Spirit to our right, so we can hear the waves crashing. We can see the white caps out there giving us something to look at. But pretty little pine forest through here. Nice, pleasant little hike, flat trail. Perfect. All right, we're just hiking along, and I remembered. Today is the day that we stumble upon the old car in the woods. So I forget what the story is and how it got here. I'm not sure anybody really knows, but I'll look it up after and see. But yeah, 
is a pretty exciting part about today here is this little car. <laughs> but check this out, how cool is that? I mean, that's old school, huh? Maybe somebody who knows a little bit more about cars can tell me what kind of car it is, but it's been there a while, that's for certain. Pretty cool. All right, back on trail. Ready? All right, let's go. All right, back on trail. Looks like a little more green tunnel. Yeah, the sun came out and uh, we still got the wind with us, which is good. Good day on trail. All right, we reached the turnoff for the NCT and Trapper's Lake. Trapper's Lake campground would be about a half mile that way. We're gonna go that way towards the shoreline and hike the NCT towards our next destination, so. Made it, how far today already? Three-ish? Three-ish. Maybe a little bit more. It was pretty early yet, so. Making a really good time. Taking advantage of the cooler weather. Lack of mosquitoes is nice. But, all right. Time to head back towards Mrs. Superior. scouting it out for the privy. We're gonna stop here. Um, I think we got like two or so miles left before our campsite, but it's a little bit before lunchtime and we're getting a little hungry, so we're gonna stop here for uh, some lunch. So I got our lunch ready to go. And uh, yeah, enjoy the view. <laughs> All right, so for lunch, we've got each of a little bag of crackers. We each got a block of cheese. We got some Korean barbecue. Larissa's kitchen jerky. And for a snack, we each have animal cookies that are iced. quick map check here in the wind. We started at seven mile today and we've hiked all the way past Pine Bluff. We're sitting at uh, Beaver Creek right now. That's where we're having lunch. And uh, we're headed to the cove. So we're about, I don't know, just under two miles from camp. So we should be there shortly. Just finished lunch, it was delicious talked with a couple hikers. This, this trail has been extremely social this year, so we've met a lot of people, um, some that know who we are, which is really funny. Crossing Beaver Creek here. Pretty cool little bridge. Ooh, it's wobbly. Coming across the creek. We're here it comes. Made it. Made it to the coves. All right, we're gonna go find a camp spot. 
the group that we've been staying at camp with the last couple nights, uh, Joel and Renee, they're staying at uh, Beaver Creek, which we were just at a little bit ago tonight. So we're gonna head up here and find a site. Made it to camp, we're at site number five. There's a nice spot right there that the triplex will fit in. Just dumped all the sand out of my shoes. We had a pretty sandy, sandy day today. Got a lot of sand. for dinner uh, tonight I'm gonna have uh, ramen rescue a vegetable one and Matt's gonna have a trailside bean and cheese burrito so I'm gonna get some water boiling for both looks like Matt's is four ounces and mine's as much as a ramen um, would take you can be kind of on that however you want. I like mine a little soupier um, than not, so this says about two cups and that's probably about right for me. So I'm gonna do that. Matt is prepping up the ramen for me. He already took my desiccants out. A nice husband. <laughs> desiccants are uh, these little things here. They come in uh, the bags of food and they keep moisture from getting in there. Um, with dehydrated food, that's kind of important. So, yeah. I like my ramen all broke up. You could leave it whole if you want, but I like it broken so it's easy to eat. about five minutes so that ramen should be done by now. I'm gonna check it here and give it a stir. Yep. And the ramen rescue comes with sriracha. Yeah, it's pretty good with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right on in. With little packages like this, you should always remember the little corner that you rip off, this little micro piece of plastic. Make sure that makes it into your trash bag too. A lot of people miss those. That's probably one of the most common pieces of trash that I see laying around the sites here. So just make sure you get your little micro plastics. All right, let's stir that in. Gives it a good orangey kind of color. Oh, smells good, Matt. Yeah, it's really good. I like the flavor. Um, texture is kind of like a bean paste, but I really like the chorizo powder and how it tastes. Kind of looks like dog food, I'm not going to lie. But I've had it before. This is Matt's first time, and I liked it the first time. And you like it too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Peanut M&M's for dessert. Mm-mm. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, it's the end of the night now. Um, well, at least we're cleaning up camp a little bit before bed. I've got to take the food bags and all of our smellables down to the bear box. That's one of the rules here in the park is you have to put all that stuff in a bear box at night and they are provided in the campground. So I'll show you what they look like down here. So this is one right here. So we'll unlatch it. Alright. That's 
about it. Locked up for the night. All right, guys, it is like, I don't know, 8.30, 8.40, somewhere in there. It's 8 o'clock. No, it's not. Are you sure? I can use a phone. It is 7.57. Oh, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> All right, the battery's dying, but it's 8 o'clock, and we're tired, so we're going to go to bed. Good night, Matt. Have a good night, and we'll see you guys oh in the morning. Oh, my gosh, look at my hair. Oh, yeah, that is... This is the real beast in the woods. That is bad. <laughs> it's like a bear with a mullet. <laughs> Ooh, there's some stinks in this bag now. <laughs> See so much. Editor Matt put in a bunch of funny gifts and stuff. <laughs>